pile of books. Hi guys. So, I'm filming outside, which is really exciting. I have a huge book haul to do. I'm actually going to put this into two parts. I went to a local thrift store. They were having the sale where you take a bag and you put as many books as you want into it, fill it up all the way, and the bag is $3. $3! So, I'm going to show you that, and then I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff I got while I was shopping in a different part. So, this is the most of it. So the first three books that I got are English nerdy books, because that's who I am. And that is uh, the volume D and... Volume D and Volume E of the Norton Anthology of American Literature. It's got like Robert Frost poems and Sylvia Plath, and there's a bunch of stuff that English nerdy me really wanted. So there's these two. And honestly, these are like $50 each. So that's a steal. That just paid for everything that I got. Wait. Right. The second, our third book is a 2013 Princeton Review for the LSAT. These are 80 bucks to $100, and I am taking the LSAT in October, so get a head start here. Look at that, 2013. Alright, next I got The Lost World by Michael Crichton. This is the sequel to Jurassic Park, which I love a lot, so... There's that. Then I got The Born Supremacy by Robert Ludlum. I love this movie. I love Matt, Matt Damon. I'm just gonna take a moment for Matt Damon. And um, I didn't even know it was a book, so I'm gonna read that and then I'm probably gonna give it to my mom. She loves it. The next three book are, books that I got are the first three in the Click series. Um, the Click. Uh, Friends for Never, and Revenge of the Wannabes. I have read The Click, I think in high school or junior high, whenever it came out. Oh, go. look at found three of them. Why not get them? Why not? And then I got a Poems by Shakespeare book. It's just all of his poems, every single one of them. You will see in the second part of my haul, I'm in love with Shakespeare. The Story of a Girl by Sarah Zar. Honestly, I think I've read this before, but I don't remember. And it looks like an easy read, and I thought, why not? Yeah. Carnal Innocence by Nora Roberts. I'm a sucker for a romance novel. Um, Nora Roberts is supposed to have, like, she's, I've never read her before, but I know she's really proficient in romance novels. <laughs> so I thought I'd pick it up. And then... Summer Sisters by Judy Bloom. I've never read one of her young adult adult novels, only her little kid ones. So, got it, you got it. See the pile I'm making right now, it's great. Um, Artemis Fowl by Yoin Colfer. Col Colfer. Um, again, it's something I read in elementary school and I don't own it, so and I really liked it then, so maybe I'll reread it and see if I still like it now. Little House on the Prairie by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Um, I'm from Wisconsin, and that's where she's from. And we've got her little house in the big woods, which I need to get that one too. So I'm just... Memories. Last, but not least, Angels and Demons by John... John Brown. Dan Brown, that's his name. I have read this before, but my parents own it and I can't take it from them. So this is what I got. And I need to find the Da Vinci Code too. Maybe I will pick up the Inferno someday. That's all I got from this used book sale. Uh, so I will see you guys in part two, two of my book haul. Part two of my book haul. My big, big, big book haul. So I went to Half Price Books. which just a chain used bookstore in my state and around. So I got City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. I own City of Bones already. I haven't read it. I don't own City of Ashes, but I think I can find it. But this was only $5.49. So 
I picked it up. Then I got Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I really want to see the movie, but I have to read the book first. I just have to. And it was $8.99 for a hardcover book. Can't go wrong. And last from that bookstore, I got Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. It says Signature Edition. I don't know what that means. I don't see a signature on it, so I'm going to guess it's just a special edition. I'm talking really fast. I've heard fantastic things, and I think I said in my last video that one of my friends was going to lend me this book, but I bought it for myself because I couldn't wait. So next I found this adorable bookstore. It's just the cutest thing you've ever seen, and it's one of those bookstores that's got like books just piled up above your head. I filmed a little bit of it, so I might insert that right here. Um, so yeah, I'll show you. I got five books there for five dollars. A dollar freaking each. So first I got Hamlet by Shakespeare. I also got The Merchant of Venice by Shakespeare. And, ooh, what's that? I also got Macbeth by Shakespeare. As you can see, I'm having a Shakespeare kind of day, but I mean, three Shakespeare plays for three dollars is not bad. And I've already read Macbeth and Hamlet. I got Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I read this my freshman year of high school and I loved it. And I just, I want to read it again. Last but not least from this bookstore, I got Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. And then I was on my way out of shopping and I was like, ooh, Barnes and Nobles, I should go in. I got myself a green tea. And I picked up a book that I already read and own. Faults in Our Stars by John Green. I bought this on my Nook and I loved it and I did a review of it and I put it right here and I needed it in hardcover in special edition because they didn't have the not special edition which I wanted the pretty blue one but this works. So if you, if you have not read this book, pick it up, read it now and then come back to the video. I only have one more book though. Last but not least, just drop my keys. I found a huge copy of Les Mis by Victor Hugo. Look at that. $7.98. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's a big book. But I'm excited and a little intimidated. Actually, I'm very intimidated by this book. I don't even know if I'm ever going to read it. I just want it. My backyard. Isn't it funny? Backyard. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Very quick little update here. I am officially on a book buying ban. I bought 25 books in this haul, and you'll see I need to stop buying books. So, book buying ban for Elizabeth. Okay, bye guys.